Ashley here. Mason and I will be going to New Mexico. Our flight is at 10 a.m. this morning, so we will be leaving the house about 7.30, so we get to the airport about 8.30 to give us about an hour and a half to get checked in and everything. We are flying alone. My husband is not going with us. He's just a little bit too busy at work, so we're a little bit bummed, but I'm happy to be spending a lot of time with my family. We will be there for a little over two weeks, about 16 days. Uh, so today's video is going to be about what we are packing for, um, for mom and her baby for a two week stay in another state. I know I stressed about this for a few days because I was thinking, oh my god, how? what am I going to take? How can I fit all of his stuff in just two little suitcases? But I managed to do it. So we are taking two suitcases, a small suitcase and a large suitcase. Um, I borrowed these from my wonderful sister-in-law. She is great. She let me borrow these because all I have are two very small suitcases and a dog carrier case. So that wasn't going to work. Um, so today I'll just be showing you what I have. One thing I recommend when you go on a trip with a baby or even if you're just going on a trip by yourself is to make a list, which I have. Can you see? I have gone ahead and made a list. You can't really see. Oh well. But I did make a list of everything that I'm taking and I'll just share with you. So in suitcase number one. On the top part is just all of our undergarments, I'm taking underwear, bra, socks, stuff like that. Alright, so let's get right in. Um, I packed six outfits for me. I'm taking two workout out outfits, taking one pair of pants, one pair of capris, one pair of pajamas, taking two jackets, a little bit chilly in New Mexico, so I'm taking a light, a light jacket and a heavy coat. For Mason, I'm taking three receiving blankets, one swaddle blanket, a very, very super soft blanket because he really likes his soft blankets. I'm also taking a cotton blanket. I'm taking a big blanket for tummy time. And as far as clothes, I. I'm, I packed him five pajamas with feet, three pants, eight short sleeve onesies, packing one jacket for him. He'll also be wearing a jacket when we leave for the airport. Um, and then I'm packing, of course, the music frog. I would not leave home without this because he just loves that thing. I'm packing a Tommy Tippy nine ounce bottle. Packing a Medela 5 ounce bottle. This is just what I store my breast milk in. I'm packing a bag of breast milk and extra bottles. And inside, I just have an extra Medela 5 ounce bottle with a lid. Ice pack. I'm packing 8 ounces of distilled water. Now Mason doesn't drink water all the time. I just, normally after he eats and I'm burping him, he spits up and instead of sticking a rag in his mouth to clean it out, I give him a few sips of water. And I also, it's, the water's also really good for when he gets the hiccups. I just give him a few sips and his hiccups go away instantly. I'm also packing the milk that I pumped this morning. Pumped about... Uh, nine ounces, and this is what he will have for tonight. Now I did normally I pump way more than eight ounces. I normally can get about thirteen ounces, but I think because I've been stressing about this trip, I think the stress is affecting how much milk I'm producing, and um, because I don't want to feed Mason any formula, and I'm worried about my milk production because of the stress, I am packing. Frozen milk. So I'm taking three of these and they have four ounces each.
brush case with all my brushes, makeup brushes. So that's everything for suitcase number one. Now, suitcase number two, this is the smaller of the suitcases. I just have a toiletry bag. This has my face wash. It's got some the cocoa butter um, skin therapy oil. This is what I've been using for my to help get rid of my stretch marks. Pond's cold cream, deodorant, Q-tips, lanolin, lotion, and I'm still taking prenatals, so I'm packing my prenatals. I'm packing my makeup bag. Basically just a MAC Fix One, what, yeah, Fix Plus, some L'Oreal Anti-Redness Primer, I have, what brand is it, uh, Maybelline, Maybelline Superstay Foundation, I also have Maybelline Powder, um, Mascara, my eyelash curler, my brow kit, this is the NYC brow kit or browser. I have Clinique's gel, liquid gel, compact, got Clinique, um, what is this, for my eyes. <laughs> uh, eyeliner pencil. Basically, just little scissors and um, just have scissors and tweezers in there. So that's everything. That's everything for my makeup bag. I'm packing six. No, I'm packing four pairs of shoes. I got brown boots, black boots, running shoes, and flip flops. I'm also packing my Medela Pump and Style breast pump. And all of its little accessories, I went ahead and cleaned them already. In the top, I've got my hair dryer, hair straightener, brush, comb, teaser. And then I have a little bag of goodies from Mason. I have his brush, a thermometer, nail clippers, and his nasal thing. it for my second bag. So I will be checking these two into I will be checking these two in and as far as my diaper bag I'll be carrying this on. Two things I'm packing are sunglasses, my uh, reading glasses. I'll probably be wearing these so I can see my way through the airport. Um, as far as my diaper bag didn't really change too much about it. I will be taking this Munchkin sling. I'll be wearing this with Mason. That way my um, hands are free as I go through the airport. I'm also packing a book. Right now we're reading Dr. Seuss's ABCs. In my bottle carriers I'm taking just two empty bottles. taking two of his toys from his um, deluxe play gem. I've got the little panda and the little toucan. I'm taking those just so I have something to distract him with in the plane if he starts to fuss. And right in front, I am making sure to pack his birth certificate. We'll have to copy of his birth certificate. So if you are traveling with a baby or toddler, two years and younger, make sure you take this because they can fly free if you don't reserve a seat for him. I, I, um, I didn't reserve a seat for Mason. He will be riding in my lap. A few other things that I'll be putting in my diaper bag is, of course, my iPad and my cell phone and probably the tripod. So something else we'll be taking is the stroller. I'll be checking in the car seat and the base. 
and I will take his stroller with me through the airport. The reason I'm taking the stroller with me is we do have, a, like I said, we have a layover in Dallas, and if I have to go to the bathroom, I want to be able to lay him in here while I do my business. I don't want to have to ask anybody uh, to hold him while I go. And the great thing about um, Southwest Airlines is you you don't have to pay uh, to take the stroller. You can take it with you all the way to the gate, and then they just put it under the plane for you, and then they bring it out when you're uh, when your plane lands. All right, and one last thing, I just wanted to share with you what I will be wearing to the airport. For shoes, I'm going to be wearing some very comfortable, easy to slip on and off shoes. Some leggings. These leggings are actually maternity leggings. And the reason I chose these is because they have extra material around the stomach. And now that my stomach is gone, I just pulled them way up high to below my bra. That way when I lift my shirt to feed Mason, I'm not exposing any skin to anybody and then my sweater is also a maternity sweater and the reason I chose this is because of the extra material that way when I'm breastfeeding him I can just cover him and myself and this is just a long t-shirt as far as my hair I'll probably put it in a ponytail that way I don't have to fuss with it when I'm trying to feed Mason or burp him that way it's not in the way well, that is everything. We're about to leave soon, so we'll be arriving in New Mexico in a few hours. Wish us luck, and we'll, we're excited to see everyone. Thank you for watching.